In this video, we're going to work out this integral. So to do this, we're gonna use a U substitution. You know that's usually a good idea whenever you have like an inside piece. So our U is typically the inside piece. So the inside piece here is two over theta. So we'll start by trying that. So we'll let U equal to two over theta. So now we have to differentiate this. So in order to differentiate this, what you want to do is you want to bring the theta upstairs. So there's really a one here. So when you bring it up, it becomes two times theta to the negative one, because that's what happens to exponents. Now we take the derivative, so du. So you put the negative in the front, so you get negative two theta, and then subtract one, so negative two, and then we have d theta. So again, that's the power rule. You put this number in the front, and then negative one minus one is negative two. Let's go ahead and bring this down. So we have du equals negative two over theta squared, d theta. Good stuff. All right, so now notice that there is no negative sign here, but there is one here. So if we multiply or divide by negative one, whatever we prefer, we end up with negative du equals two over theta squared d theta. And the reason we do that is because we want this to look like this. So we basically multiplied or divided by negative one. It doesn't matter. So now we're in a good place, right? We've got this here. This is beautiful. We've got this here. This is great. And that's this, right? Everything here is this. So this, these boxes are just going to become negative du. So this is equal to negative, we'll pull the negative out, cosine of u du. So here we are. So again, this is cosine of u. And what happened to all of this stuff? Well, all of this stuff, so these two things here are equal to negative du. So that's, that's how we got that. And then we're left with cosine of u. It's really beautiful. When you're integrating cosine, you should ask yourself, what is a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So when you integrate cosine, you get sine. So this is negative sine of u plus capital C, which is our constant of integration. We're almost done. We are almost there. The last thing to do is replace u with what it actually is. u is equal to two over theta. So this is equal to negative sine of two over theta plus our constant of integration, capital C. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there who is trying to learn u substitution. Take care.